What's up, tech fans? Elric here once again on Tech of Tomorrow. Now, if you guys follow the channel, the other day we introduced you guys to the brand new video card from the people over at Video. This is their brand new GeForce GTX 1080 card. So if you guys want to check out all of the features and all that stuff, you guys are going to want to check out that video right here. But if you're looking for performance scores and how this card does against the competition and even a little bit of live Doom gameplay, then let's check this out. Now, just to clarify, folks, the card that we're seeing today is the Founders Edition version of the 1080 card. What the Founders Edition means is that NVIDIA has certain specifications that cannot be changed if they want to manufacture this version of a card, be it from a third-party manufacturer or a partner. The card sizes in at 10 inches by 2 inches wide by 4 inches high. And two of the cool things I really like about the card are its solid backplate and the fact that you only have to use a single 8-pin power connector to power the card, and that the card also has a low power requirement of 180 watts. Almost all operations flow through the SM at some point in the rendering pipeline. With 20 SMs, the GeForce GTX 1080 ships with a total of 2,560 CUDA cores and 160 texture units. The GTX 1080 also features eight 32-bit memory controllers with a 256-bit total. Tied to each of these 32-bit memory controllers are eight ROP units and 256 kilobytes of level two cache. And the GP104 chip used in GTX ships with a total of 64 ROPs and 2,048 kilobytes of level two cache. The 1080 features a base clock speed of 1,607 megahertz and a boost clock of 1,733 megahertz. It also has a memory clock of an amazing 10,000 megahertz with a bandwidth of 320 gigabits a second. And on the back of the card, you can see there are a pair of SLI bridges, and NVIDIA now states they only support two cards in SLI mode. The chipset itself has seen a die shrink. It's gone from the 28 nanometer process down to the 16 nanometer FinFET process. What this means is that everything has gotten smaller, and this is actually going to help keep the card running cooler and running better. So those are the fun facts about the card. Now let's check out the test system and check out what you guys have all been waiting for, performance scores. Now, the test system that we're using in all the testing for today's video was all done in the FPS Devastator system. This is an Intel-based system featuring an i7-6700, lots of other great parts. If you guys want to see that full build in case you missed it, we'll have a link right here to that build. Also, all the drivers that we used in today's video were all the very latest that you can get from both Intel and AMD, and every single test that we ran was run at 4K at its ultra or at 1080 at its absolute ultra, ultra settings. Couldn't get any higher, otherwise the machine would probably break. So with that said though, let's now check out those performance scores.
brought to the table. Here is Doom. Now this is the OpenGL version. They won't have the Vulcan version, they said, for about 30 days in a patch. But you guys can see this game's completely rocking and all the settings are turned to their maximum. You guys can see that. Everything's as high as it can go in Ultra, 4K, over 60 frames per second, everywhere. And Doom is just fun. I gotta say though, this game is super freaking fast, man. You gotta have a lot of great hand-eye coordination to play this sucker. It's insane. And multiplayer, even though I got my ass kicked, ain't so shabby either. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Finally, the performance scores for the GeForce GTX 1080. Now, I just gotta say, the main thing that impressed the hell out of me about this card is that its ability to handle 4K, like every single game that we threw at this damn thing, was able to be played at 60 frames or above. Some even up to 70 frames per second in 4K with everything tuned up to its maximum setting. And that's pretty incredible because all the cards in the past always struggled and struggled and struggled doing 4K on their own. So pretty much I gotta say right out of the bat, this card is definitely 4K ready for damn sure. It also passed the VR test, so it's VR ready and all that stuff all rolled in one. Now you guys all know that AMD is obviously going to have some card to come back and compete against this, but at the moment you guys can see obviously the 1080 is the single GPU king. It rules across the board and everything that we did. It just rocks and it's really made, I think, for 4K as you guys can see through all the scores. I mean, if you're not really playing 4K gaming, uh, I don't know, I think this card's completely overkill. The fact that it only takes 180 watts of power though in a single eight pin power connector, that's also a pretty awesome fact. You guys like the back panel? Make sure you guys get the Founders Edition card. Now, there will be other cards out there on the market, some of them with even specs that are lower than the Founders Edition. That's the card they're talking about. It's gonna be $599. I haven't seen those cards yet. And there'll be some that are even more expensive with after card marketing, excuse me, after, you know, cooling additional crazy aftermarket cooling excuse me i've been up for two days testing with g and we're just like to get this video to you guys on time so but that's it folks the 1080 is here and i know you guys all were saying where's the 1070 where's the 1070 heck i haven't seen the 1070 actually in my hand or any of that stuff yet but it will be coming now like usual before i bow out of here if you guys want to check out some free software for using in your game or monitoring your system make sure you guys check out cam from nzxt one thing cool about it is like i said it's completely free and it monitors all your temps and all kinds of things and it'll do it on a monthly basis weekly basis hourly basis it monitors everything your system blah 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 it's just crazy like usual there'll be links down below where you guys can hopefully buy this card for yourself and to the free cam software i'm elric you've been watching tech of tomorrow and you just saw the 1080 Founders Edition card here on Tech of Tomorrow.